Welcome back to another episode of R and R with RTZ. You're with your co-host Ariba Zad, Rahib Tizaman, and Rakib Tizaman. And today the T stands for throwback. On today's episode, we're starting something a little bit different, a little bit new. We're going to be starting reviewing our old videos, talking about how they were shot, how we created them, and how we felt about it years later in post and everything. And today's episode, we're going to talk about our most popular video, First Class. Let's get into it. Wow, the RTZ really works for this situation now. <laughs> and it really does. Um, so yeah, uh, a little bit different. It's not just me and Ariba now. It's uh, we got my older cousin Thuin, uh with us, who's. Initials are also RTZ. It's Rakib Tuhin Zaman. Um, his he's his bro- His dad is my my dad's older brother. And I think in the end, my dad just copied what his older brother did in the naming convention. Yeah, so that's my one hundred percent. Four yeah. times, four <laughs> times. Yes, he, there's a whole rhyming scheme with our brothers' names and oh all gosh. of our cousins' names, more or less. The Eeb, Rakib, Rahib, Hasib, Nasib, Rakib. But Anyways, it's a lot, but Anyways. we only me and him have RTZ as initials. Yes, firstborn. Uh, that's why. Um. Yeah. So, like I said, let's talk about our most popular video to date, first class. Yes. So the, that video, Rahib and I collabed on. Um, he did the chorus and the guys part, and I did the girls part when uh, making choreo. Um, there was not really a concept behind it. And there was a few dancers. There were Chaturia. A few. We had a lot of dancers. Okay, a lot of dancers. Chaturia, uh, John V, Namita, Shruti, Maliha, and myself. I believe those are all the girls. Then we had Anish. We had four other guys. Yeah. Anish, Anuj, uh, Alex, and yourself. And uh, uh, the other guy. uh, Oh, oh, um... I haven't seen. I haven't talked to him oh in a long no. time. Uh-oh. I forgot his name too. Ashwin. Ashwin. Yeah. yeah. Ashwin. Oops. <laughs> that was a close one. Yeah, I was uh, going to say Ashwin, and I was like, "Oh, that's a kid well. at school." Yeah. <laughs> hope he's doing well. Um, but Thuyma was filming this. Uh, yes. We were where we were in Alexandria, next to my old office job, in John Carlisle Square Park. Probably didn't memorize the name of that place, but we've been there a few times. That was a. As a, it's a really nice park, right? It's yeah, a nice. yeah, it's giant pretty. green it's square or rectangle field in the middle of like old town, not old town Alexandria, but Alexandria, the fancier parts of Alexandria, because like a few steps away from this, the USPTO, the giant government building, so they made it make sure it's all nice and stuff. Um, it's a nice little courtyard with like ar- arching trees, so it looks oh, it looks really nice. And during like winter time, they put Christmas lights and stuff, so it looks really good. Um, but yeah, first class. That was from what I forgot the movie was called. Galank. That yeah. movie. And we made it three years ago. Oh wow. Yeah, because right? oh no. Well, it's coming up to four. Yeah, yeah. because we made it uh, right before we got married. It was like yeah. June or July, right? Yeah, because I, I keep forgetting, but June. you keep reminding me that we it was right and like a few hours before we went to our my bachelor party. Mm-hmm. So we filmed that, I think, and then. Was it that same day we went? Same or day. In same? The morning we filmed and then wow. came back. We could not stuff. do that these days. Do a shoot and do anything else afterwards. <laughs> we just did a shoot yesterday and I felt so tired from that. It was only yeah. four hours, but it felt like forever. It was oh, it felt way longer than four hours yesterday. Yeah. But yeah. Maybe lunch just took forever. But I mean, the room was hot and then all the equipment. Yeah, so. that was stressful. I thought I lost some equipment. It was just packed everywhere in other places. Anyways. um so yeah well like ariba said uh we both made the choreo for it i made the guys part in the chorus and she made the girls part um this is a time when uh this is on there's nothing special about this video at all honestly but it was just i think timing was right yeah the timing was why it got so popular it got three hundred thousand views um i think all of india saw it or something half of india part of india i I didn't think the movie I guess the movie just came out. Was that around that time too? Mm-hmm. Wasn't, but it wasn't like the week of. Like people make videos like the day uh, a song drops or a K-pop song drops or whatever. Um, well, this wasn't that. We just got really lucky with the I views think, yeah, for I this think one. We just got really lucky. 
but it was a quality up there. It was so good that that a lot of people, uh, like, stole it and copied it or something like that, right? No, no, it was, like, it was really weird. YouTube would send me copyright video or, like, messages saying that someone else uploaded my video the they yeah. illegally downloaded it from they ripped it from youtube and then yeah. oh, uploaded it on their own youtube account uh, but they didn't say it was theirs it was like oh look at this super cool dance or yeah. hollywood dance but crazy. when you do that you take the views away from the original creators and yeah if it was popular from yeah. what i could tell they had like one view and looked like some random indian uncle did it yeah it was, it was bad mm, looking was the weird. quality was bad yeah and they ripped it really badly so it was like yeah. it went from 4k to like 220p Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't think I've seen that. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I don't. I, I mean, I messaged YouTube is like, "Hey, remove this." I don't know what they did with it. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess that's the only time copyright worked we in go my back, favor. We should go back and look for it and uh, see if it has more views than the, the original. <laughs> no, nah, it definitely doesn't. I mean, it would um, be hard to find. But uh, we're gonna try in this new format of our podcast. We're gonna be watching the video and giving live commentary. Um, and then giving some more commentary as we finish. So you'll be hearing uh, the song and the video in the background at a lower volume, but we'll be talking uh, throughout. So that's what, for our listeners, that's what we'll be doing. Are you guys I, ready to watch? Yeah. I, I think, I want to point out one thing. I think this was my first Bollywood one that I made. Choreo? Maybe. I think it was. Wow, <laughs> and I got so many views. You're welcome. It's been downhill since. Yeah, well, that's not my fault. I'm not in the videos anymore. That is your fault, then. No, I should make more. You're right. Oh. It's your <laughs> fault because you don't put me in. All right. Put me Let's in watch this thing. Yes. No, it disconnected. One yeah, sec. Gonna Technical say. difficulties. Ugh. MacBook Pro. Okay, just starting off in the beginning, your intro, is, your intros nowadays are so much cooler. This is a little edgier. This was definitely edgier. I don't know why, it didn't really match the theme of, the, it kind of, no. I mean like no. when the actual music video, you'll see um, there's a lot it, of fire it effects, match- so that's why I took inspiration from, but it didn't okay, match yeah. what we were doing yes, here. Yeah. It's more of an homage to the original. Also, I want to point out, this really made us realize like we needed more B-roll stuff. Because you just slow yeah. down everything. And I wasn't planning to use the whole intro as music. Mm-hmm. But I did it in post. I like the choreo for it. Oh, um, oh I did a whoa. That's, that's when it was the coolest. This yeah, this is, That's when it was still cool. God, five boys. You that would never, never happen. I'm pretty sure Anuja's... Um, outfit ripped in this oh yeah no 100 percent it ripped he ripped his skirt he's yeah. someone he's also too, too oh, i think for that. john v's like blouse ripped, oh my and God. i had to pin it that was a big problem yeah i kept ripping and i think malia didn't wear makeup it's pretty cool that you got like eight people that's what i'm saying right that's like know. this is a lot of girls i'm surprised what happened? <laughs> What's that happening? Yeah. This is such a surprise for us looking back. Because well, yesterday was actually big, big. We got a big crowd yesterday for yesterday. Yeah, but those are all mostly new people. Think about it, like Ishani, Isha. I mean, it's still people. That's true. These lot. This is a lot of people's first video too for us. There was Sai in here too. Yeah, I think this is Sai's only video, other than the Scooby Doo one, which she killed that one. BT dubs, that outfit does not fit me anymore. <laughs> I think Alex and Ashwin are both wearing my gorgeous. Yes, they are. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Ashwin's, uh, they see and didn't have anything. For shame, Ashwin. Yeah, for reals. Wow, Alex oh. looks good in this. Well, what are you trying to say? I mean, there's a, the ti- there's a time frame, but this one looks good. Oh, everyone's coordinated. It looks good. Yeah. That was, su- that was surprisingly clean. <laughs> it's This is pretty well done for the fact that our videos now look so much better than this. Like, this is still very right. well done. 
or like three years ago. Yeah, we did or one three, camera. Yeah, yeah I was gonna say gimbal, camera gimbal, like not that many lens. lightings. I think that was my camera and, and my gimbal. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't yeah. invest yet. I was I was just doing this for funsies. Yeah, hey, because you still had the job. That's just, and then yeah. a static uh, credit roll. Oh this yes, is a regular. This is just regular a, a template from Final Cut. This is nothing interesting. Which wow. is crazy because now it's it's uh, so amazing what uh, it looks like now. Yeah, I think leaps and bounds are so much better and everything. Like even that the whole ending sequence where it was just B roll of us dancing. Mm -hmm. We didn't film it in sixty frames, so I slowed it down. You can mm -hmm. see a bunch of frame bending. It's choppy. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's choppy and looking weird if you if you really pay attention. Uh, also, you, like nowadays, you have a lot of different angles and um, like close ups and far aways of each choreo whereas like this one was only far away from mine and only far away for the chorus yeah. and only close up for yeah, one or two it's very simplistic very. Uh, you can tell it's we had one camera one that's camera. what we had to do we didn't do multiple angles of anything we moved around a bit because we had the gimbal so some shots were moving and that looked good um but i like yesterday put we have different angles of everything uh to yeah. vary the shots up the uh it's that group scene is the one that i remember the most because uh I remember I was like on the steps of the park mm. and then I was on top of a chair yeah. <laughs> with my gimbal hand like straight up in the air. I couldn't see the camera like on the screen what's being recorded. I'm just like, I hope I'm getting everyone. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. uh, I, 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 since we had so many people, I wanted to get the up, upwards bird's eye look to show off the formation. Um, wait, I don't, how do we find a chair? Was that someone to bring a chair? Someone like had a, yeah, like a chair. I think so. Like a foldable one. Was, yeah. I think we good. packed a folding chair. Might have. I might have thought about that yeah. and try to bring a chair in advance. Oh my god! Could you imagine this video, but with your drone now? Oh yeah, that would be dope. That's what we gotta bring for the uh, Balam video because we're doing it at the park again. Same park. Oh, same yeah. place. Nice. Same yeah. place, and we're hopefully because they're keep they treat Rajvi and Shruti keep expanding the video idea, so they hopefully get a lot more people. If we get a bunch of extras to play holy. It would look dope. It's gonna look so good if we get a drone. Oh shot my god, there. that would be a only wish is video. that you know, because we're so close to government buildings, we're in Alexandria. Mm -hmm. Will we even be able to fly? You should look it up before picking that place. Then, uh, I mean, we picked that place already for because it's a no. big wide space. No, I get that, but if you can't use your drone and get that really cool shot, you could potentially still look for other places, big fields like uh, Manassas Bull, uh, Bull Run Park place area. Battlefield Park. The Battlefield yeah. Park, yeah. Or you uh, wrong that statue of a. I keep forgetting. Stonewall. Stonewall Jackson? Jackson. Have you seen that statue recently? Because I went there to I shoot a not. video. Because they made they carved that guy like he was <laughs> a bodybuilder, like he's <laughs> Arnold. Jacked. He's jacked as shit. His horse oh, is his jacked as shit. His paintings don't look like that. Is incredibly muscular. They they took the name Stonewall. They, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Someone was in love with that dude, a sculptor. I guess, I don't know. Because we got to be playing with Holy, so I don't want to ruin the park. I mean, we're probably going to ruin John Carlisle. Yeah. But granted, we can also I go to Burke Lake Park. Burke Lake Park, you can have drones. I've seen drones there. Yeah, I would look it up. All the way here. There are places in Mason that you can't use a drone now. I was filming there for the old team. Oh, really? You can't fly a drone too close to the buildings. It's weird. That like is in weird. the middle of campus. I don't does know why. the uh, the drone say something? Yeah, it does. Yeah, it says there's a no fly zone, and then if you're on the if you go outside to the to the oh. current fly zones, then mm -hmm. like it's like you're hitting an invisible barrier with your drone. It won't fly Wait, past that makes place. sense because a lot of people like live on campus, and a drone could go up, and a window could be open, and someone could be changing. Yeah, maybe as for yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think that makes a hundred percent. It sense. was like uh, I know back in the day. Back in my Best Buy days, it was like national parks are a no-fly zone, government property, mm. national parks, all that. So D.C., I think, in, in its entirety is a no-fly zone. Yeah, in its entirety. So um, That's so unfortunate. Well, if national parks, then. I mean, sure. I don't think Bull Run is considered, or Battlefield is considered a park. Eh. It is a uh, national place. Like, not national. It is a historic historical place. landmark. Historic. Hmm. Um, all right, so back to first class. Um, I like the choreo. I thought the choreo was fun, energetic. I remember enjoying making it and also doing your parts as well. Um, I thought all the people who were involved learned it really well, and I thought I thought the video itself was very clean. 
Yeah, it was uh, surprisingly clean. I feel like it's hard to, after college, getting people to practice enough to clean your moves and be... I think that's years after college because even then, like, the, this video, I think we had a lot more practices than we do nowadays for videos. Oh, we're also a lot fresher. We were a lot fresher yeah. off the team, so we had still had that mindset and still had that practice. And this is, now we're eight years later, you know? Yeah. Or I guess in this context, five years later? Three years later. Got to fit so. in adulting. Yeah. Dancing. Yeah. Got to be a mature. Ugh. But it was good. Like, I think <laughs> this is one of those videos I would like to do a remake of. Yes, please. It would be fun to see how well we've increased. Because I'm definitely going to do one for El Chapo, the very first video. We have oh, yeah. Done. That's going to be a big. That production hullabaloo. would be so cool. The real challenge is to see if we've got better as actors. Or you do it the same way, just for the same exact <laughs> way, <laughs> for but the just bit. slightly better quality. <laughs> oh, God. We need to go back to my mom's basement. No, it's all fresh and new. We can say mm -hmm. we renovated it because the business is doing good, the cocaine business or whatever we were selling. Oh, God. No, we were selling uh, toy water guns. There was a lot of uh, costume mishaps during this video. I just remembered. It was like, yeah, Anuja's Korta ripped. Mm -hmm. um, I think someone else's. It was really tight oh. on him. He got, he got muscles. John V's. Oh, um, I think that would have been mine. No, no, it wasn't. It was, no, his, it, was his. it was his, yeah. John V's like one of her uh, like back lace things ripped. And it was yeah. the only thing keeping her entire outfit together in the back. Um, at least at the bottom part. We were trying to run around finding. Oh, yeah. I had to run all the way to CVS yeah. to get clothespins. Yeah, safety pins. You've somehow managed to put it together. I did what so I did. Just enough for mm. a few shots. Yeah. The stress of making videos and these Indian outfits. I will say nowadays our videos, like when it comes to the girls, we all really think about what our hair should look like because up, half up, half down is kind of boring now. And it made everyone's head look so flat. And like we don't do that kind of stuff anymore. We like change it up even makeup wise we all make sure to wear what? makeup i always hear half up half yeah up. but we like know how to like make it look less flat okay it still looks good um <laughs> and then we do more makeup or whatever there's more jewelry involved like i don't think this one we have that much jewelry um now we put like the deeps on our foreheads like we just do more glam now now that we have an idea of what things look like um i do remember one thing after we had filmed this video and you started editing, you said, and I remember this because every time I think about this video, I'm like, oh, it would have been so nice to have this. You were like, oh, I should have had Thuheen come close to me and then back up to watch, see all the other girls like, as we were beginning the girls part. Is that what we did? No, we didn't do that. Which part was that? The part where I like, I turn in like the first, literally the first move when the girls start. Oh, I think you do like a transition or something, but Let's it's see. There's a like a the phase in transition. Right? Yeah, something like that. But it, you don't start close. And I, I remember him saying that, and I was like, oh, none of us thought of that. Like it was such a that would have been great. Which is something we do very often. Now. Yeah, now we do it so often. Yeah. See, like this. Oh uh, yeah, we started far out. For that angle. Yeah, and it would have been awesome to start so close or zoomed in or something. I thought we tried. Maybe we, oh, I think we we try, but because we're on the steps, so you I couldn't back down. On I don't the remember steps. us trying. I, I think the idea was there, but we didn't try physically because you know we saw the steps. He's not gonna be able to go down the steps without a second person oh, guiding him. Okay. At least. Um, but yeah, that's the dangers of. Okay, I know we said it was clean, but th these angles are all off. Oh yeah. Oops. I mean, I it looks it good up. though. I think if you pause at any point in any professional dance video, you're doing like a circular, circular That's move. True. It's very difficult to see them all. Yeah, if it's not a boom, 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 it's it I can't. I outfit see. wise, if we do it, we do it again. We need to do find somehow find a way to get the same oh, exact outfit for every color Is coordination. That, I mean, no, not color coordination. The exact outfit. Oh, actually, be a, a team, dance crew, a dance team. We never do that. We rarely do that. It's e we do that if it's like easy to find the same costume. Just get a, everyone get a black and white shirt. Everyone get khaki pants or something. I thought it looks cool with different colors. I think the formation itself could be very different. Like we could clump together for certain parts. There could I be more blocking. Uniformity here. If everyone was wearing blue mm. and to clap and go well with the white stone, uh, or even shoot these the green. bright pink one. 
And bright these orange. Light pink. The, the, the red pink color. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's bright. I think that one looks even better. I yeah, I can see that. Pink. She's the one that didn't wear makeup because I, I didn't say anything. And that's when, that's the first time I was like, okay, from here on out, I'm going to tell everyone full glam. And I always tell everyone else. You've got you to specify. If you don't say your things and people don't do it, you can't assume. Yeah, that's, one uh, that's what I, videos. yeah. You can't assume. You can't assume anyone knows anything. <laughs> I told him that from day one, and he's like, you can't assume people are stupid. I was like, I can't assume people are stupid. This is also pre-band and, like, group text. Yeah, this is very, yeah. very early. This is band, Messenger. This, yeah, this is when I, RTZ wasn't official yet. It was just, yeah. I think at this point when I uploaded I was still, like, my own YouTube name. It was, like, Raheem Zaman's YouTube channel. Aww, so cute. it was an RTZ Productions, technically. Wow. Uh, or officially. Can like. you believe that was four years ago? And how much you've done and how much we've done in four years as RTZ members, right? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> the number of videos that we've all done. We ah. still haven't done any videos where we, like where yesterday we were trying to rent out that restaurant or like mm -hmm. sp promote with that restaurant. Yeah, but that could be our first one. We should do that. Like I something like bigger. That means me yeah. it's going to happen. I guess I, it seems more professional. Like, I've seen a lot of dancers on YouTube over the years. Like, they rent out a small ice cream like shop bar. to a where They just ask the person, hey, can we film something here? Mm. I hate asking people. It seems weird because I can't offer I'll them do it for money. you. It has to be like, how are people going to do well, it for free? Well, that's know? the thing. You're offering to promote their place. And if they have time, like what we, what Yash and I said to the guy, we were like, if there's any like off hours for us to come in, um, it's a great way to promote your restaurant. Um, we can't offer money, like, you know, things like that. And he was like, yeah, like, talk to the owner. Like, maybe he'll be into it. Because, like, a lot of these, like, non-franchise owners might be into kind of random things like this. There's so many TikTokers that go around and they're like, hey, like, I'm a videographer that makes TikTok videos for restaurants. And they just show the videos and they're like, can we do it for free? And it helps their TikTok, but they also oh, help I've their seen that guy, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know who I'm talking about? Okay, cool. Seems like Chris something. Yeah, he's very talented. But it's it's a way to it's, like really put yourself out there. It was good there. at the beginning, but then he started getting really repetitive with his style. Yeah, just Maybe you should do that. Like do stuff like that. Like, hey, can we do like a little dance video in your place and we'll promote your restaurant? Yeah, but TikTok has ruined dance videos for me, so. You don't have to do it for TikTok. I'm saying you can no, do No, but they've ruined it. Because then the, oh. when I ask them, oh, can we do a dance video? Oh, you want like a TikTok? I'm like, no, I don't want to do TikTok. But if I do it, the TikToks they're talking about are the ones that are getting famous. And this one won't be as popular as those. Got to play the algorithm. Don't know that. Yeah. yeah don't I don't want to play that game. If I have to play it, I got to do it by my own rules. If it works, it works. Whenever I do a trend that's there, by the time I do the trend, it's not trending anymore. So it's just doesn't get anything or doesn't is even then it is if i do it in time it doesn't get picked up yeah and, and everyone makes fun of influencers but i mean it's hard being all on social media only we try it all the time i tried it with photography i tried it with my makeup it's it's not easy especially if you're not consistent even if you are consistent like you are f for the most part um it's not uh, easy at all we make fun of influencers but their job is not not that easy yeah, we may find them because it's cringy. Yeah, right? I mean, cringy, cringy or not, like, whatever. Because they, uh, but posting all the, the time, the making ones that I make fun of are the ones that don't seem like they actually enjoy what they're doing. And they're always putting on a farce. They're always mm -hmm. like, oh yeah, get maybe this, because they can't do anything this else. New type of energy crack. Uh, yeah, the bango. It's so good. Yeah. It's, yeah, I love it. I drink it every day. Like and they just throw it out when the filming. Well, goes. I feel like like maybe they're just not good it's at not anything else. Well, and they have to make a living. I feel like there's a difference between a content creator and an influencer. Because, like, mm -hmm. influencers like that, they're just trying to sell you something. They're just trying to sell you something. Whereas a content creator mm -hmm. is, like, you're actually passionate. Not, I mean, it can overlap. Yeah, I think they overlap nowadays. But not always. Yeah. Right. Because there's a lot of content creators that do, like, a lot of cool cooking things. But then when they, the, the second that they have, like, a paid partnership for any commercial, for, I mean, anything that they're advertising, then I'm like, okay, now they're an influencer. So yeah, it does overlap a lot. Okay. Like, like a lot. Of you, uh, like if it's a product that you believe in. Like yeah. Well, how do you like, know they that's, don't? That's the whole thing. That's but how I do you wanted know? to know that because I would believe someone um, if they if I'm following someone who's building model kits and they say, okay, mm. this service I you buy from this store all the time. Yeah. Here's a sponsored video by them. They're paying for this video, mm -hmm. but I like their service. I buy from them all the time. They're reliable. They get their product done. So this is what I do. And I was like, okay, yeah. I would go and use their discount code or whatever. Okay, right. but like, 
what if they also want to, I don't know, they have a paid partnership with Casetify. It has nothing to do with build, builds, but they always... That's, that's yeah, it'll be harder to justify. That depends if the, how, how reliable you think the person is. Okay, because Stephanie, Stephanie Sue does Sue's that. Stephanie like, uh, I rely, I mean, I haven't bought anything from Casetify because I got a nice case, but I mean, I believe her. Better help, man. She's always promoting she it. She could just be lying. How do you know when the person's lying or exactly. not? I mean, I think your personality is great. Uh, buy it and see if it's good <sighs> quality product or whatever. You know, it would be really nice if Stephanie used to listen to this podcast. Uh, like I, I don't know. I always want to try those meal prep uh, <gasps> subscription. Oh, hello. Hello, hello fresh. fresh. Everyone yeah. always advertises hello fresh. Yeah. There's other ones. Uh, I've tried it. It's actually We've tried one. We've never before. tried it. Not hello fresh. We tried something else before at the Burke house. And we were like, eh, it's okay. We got that mm-hmm. free thing. Yeah, we got that free thing from. We tried like there's like giant Iman. had one. I don't know, but you tried HelloFresh. I got like three weeks of like HelloFresh, so it was like. Is it good? Yeah, it was like three meals per week. Um, everything's like prepackaged for you. They just give you the instructions. Were the portions actually good? like healthy? You yeah. Think? You can pick what you want, like what kind of diet you want. If you want to like mm. get something super savory or more healthier, so mm. I did a mix of like salmon and stuff roasted vegetables or chicken parm so I mean, it was all right why'd you stop i mean, I just i just used it for the free trial oh. <laughs> no. oh, that was it i got like a okay. 50 dollars gift card and i was like whatever that gets me that's all i want to would try. it be worth it co- to continue instead of cooking your own meals i mean instead of bu- going good I, grocery shopping and getting meals i can see it being helpful for like the busy person like they right that okay. wants right. to do a home-cooked meal but just especially a single person yeah if you're like single in an apartment and you're too busy to go grocery shopping, I can see that being like... See, I, I don't know why I always think HelloFresh and these types of services are for people that... Not single people. I feel like it's more for like couples or like busy couples or mm-hmm. f- even families. Because if I was a single person living on my own, even if I was busy with life, I would love to just cook like a simple, tiny, small little meal for myself well, and call it a day. if you like cooking. You like cooking. Oh, that's true. A per- busy person... If you were, I guess you would want, like, you would want HelloFresh yeah, if you were by yourself. when I was uh, living in the apartment by myself, I would just buy those, uh, like. Lean Cuisine. Not, uh, there was a point where I did Lean Cuisine, but it was like, there's also another version where it's like, uh, just ready-made pasta. You just cook it in a pan and it's all ready. So yeah. mm. that was like 10 bucks and you get a whole meal. And now he gets his wife to cook for him. Isn't he and lucky? And I get food poisoning. He's still very lucky he gets home-cooked meals. Home it cook, feels good going in. Food. It might feel bad coming out, but hey, it feels oh, bad coming geez. out either way. Oh, jeez. You know, packaged food. Strangely, I'm my hungry. Food. I'm yeah. hungrier now. <laughs> oh, I am hungry. All right. So this first class video, <laughs> how would we do, how would we improve upon it as customs? Um, um, that last uh, frame that we were frozen on, color grading was not there at all, I don't think. Oh, yeah. Because it was like a, it was like a, What's the word? Not a sunny day. It was like a cloudy. Um, it was like a. It was cloudy and it was like super. It was like overcast. Like overcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like. yeah, it was very like um, just blown out everywhere. Yeah, especially like the scenes with the that had the we were on the stone pavement. Because mm-hmm. um, then the light was reflecting really hard. The yeah. sunlight. And yeah. The sun was like coming and going. So there were scenes yeah. you can tell. Oh where it's like, yeah. Oh, it's sunny here, and then it's cloudy here. So color grading for editing wise, I think different, I definitely think different angles for a lot of the shoots. I mean, all of the different cuts, um, choreo wise, at least for my end, I wish I did more blocking and not just formation changes. Um, continuity. <laughs> continuity. Well, the continuity is, is the, is the weather thing, but. Um, oh yeah. Yeah. I think, but that depends on the concept. This is just like a music video thing. Continuity is, we're not telling a story. We're just mm-hmm. dancing. I guess if yeah, if we were doing this again, would we put a story in it? Yeah. Make it uh, go so that I mean, there will be scene one to scene two, scene one. But right now here, just we're acting cool in the beginning. There's no purpose to it. Yeah. Um, More B-rolls just because it's good to have them instead of having to slow everything down. Slow-mo. Yeah. I mean, that, that goes in hand in hand with the, whether we're doing a concept or not. Yeah, definitely. I don't know if this video would need a concept for... S- Hold on, hold on. Sure. Turn this volume down so we can watch it. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, ah. All right. I guess we're just not gonna watch it. I I feel like the video itself might not need a story, but definitely. Um. 
I like it when the things have story because then I mean, yeah, but not everything needs a story. Like for example, my sweetest pie video technically didn't have a story. We we're just badass baddies dancing it up. Like this, this is such a fun song that it's okay to just make choreo to it. But like, I think there could have been like another, uh, like a better way to transition from the very, like the introduction to dancing without like a storyline. Uh, this is more of a party song, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, it sounds yes. like yeah. That's what we were partying. It's at like the end. it was the hit song from the movie that was really advertised. So I mean, it was supposed to be like a giant party kind of thing. Mm-hmm. I do like that we use one of the famous moves from the. Oh, we had song. to. We had to do the hook step. Oh yeah, that one definitely. But it's like, I think that was the first time we ever did that kind of thing. No, well, we kind of. This one was just really easy to re- recreate. You know, the head checks, salutes. That was simple. That's true. Like first time, like a movie song, and like doing the moves from the song or from the movie. Yeah, the movie? just taking like the really iconic step. Uh, and employing that mm-hmm. into the thing, which is very common for like Bollywood's genre, like um, cover dance covers, cover, and yeah, for like just any dance Bollywood dance, because like uh, the dances are just so iconic, like the mm-hmm. the like the didn 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 the old Hithic Hithic mm-hmm. move that's iconic. So people put it whenever they hear that song. Um, same with a lot of Shah Rukh and Salman Khan. Let's so, yeah. um, let's talk about. The people who were involved in this video. Was this Anuja's last video he did for us? And first? Was it his first? Yeah. Uh, and last? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Anuja's not done any. Yeah, I guess He's so. And then Ashwin as well, boy. right? Ashwin's done a few videos with us. He did this. He did the uh, love oh. one, I'm So Lonely. Oh, okay. Yeah. Did he do Ole Ole? No. He's, oh, okay. It wasn't part of RTZ, technically. This is... Oh. Well, it was a pre RTZ yeah. group. This is the thing. first few years where we were just having that, fun. I've, I've mm-hmm. shot videos with Anuj, but it wasn't. Really? There was a, the video with Kavya. The, um, that holy video, I think, had Anuj in it. Oh, yeah. That was actually for Kavya. And, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. Oh, I mean, but like, that was for Kavya. That's not yeah. for RTZ. Right, right. Like that was for Saya, right? Pre RTZ yeah. production group. Yeah. Yeah, these are the early years, the yeah. origin stories. Like, <laughs> whenever someone had a video idea, it's just like, all right, let's do it. Yeah, yeah, pretty much, yeah. I mean, technically, RTZ members can still do that if they really want to. Well, that's yeah. how it works now. But there are some videos on the channel that I had no hand in other than filming. And they're like, mm-hmm. oh, do you want um, to just put it on the channel? I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll put it on my channel. That's true. That was a th- Yeah, that was very early on, like, uh, yeah. Birth V and Rachna's video. That was just them making choreo. Yeah, then some of the, like, random people I met, like, Abby's two videos. Yeah. They got really popular. And then that, well, those two girls with the blue? Uh, Revati and, yeah. And, yeah, whatever. Those um, are on the channel? Yeah, they're on the channel. Yeah. Um, so, and then, yeah, so it was weird. And, like... I I felt iffy about them. Now I feel iffy because it feel it's hard to build your brand, build your brand like that if you're just uploading random videos. But now it's yours. more your stuff. And then yeah. it's all your stuff. I mean, there's yeah. still Bollywood videos back then, so it's still fair. I don't have a need to like delete them or anything. There's oh, still yeah, yeah. things I filmed and edited still. So that by that means it's it still, still RTC. Yeah. And yeah. you should keep them up because it shows how much you've grown from those oh, yeah. videos to the. I'm going to delete a video. Now. It's going to be because of you. He's not talking about me specifically. He's talking about the song video. "Because of You" by Neo. <laughs> it's video. our first, our, our second, the second video on the channel. It is, and it's the first video that we've ever done together. And he cannot ever, ever remove it or make it private, because that's going to be our next podcast. Obviously, <laughs> evil, evil. No, I'm so serious. That's going to be our next podcast. Our oh, first Rahiba video. That. Too bad. Cannot so sad. It. You brought it up, and you are joking about deleting our first video together the whole ohio? world is going to hear about it what was that that was before ohio that video <gasps> yes we need to talk about that one too in not so much details but in details it's the first video i shot that's the yeah only yeah that was the first <laughs> video you shot that'll yeah. be the next episode then no no, no the uh, next episode is going to be because of you because you had to bring it up and threaten to delete it so I'm going to delete it. So no our one second know. episode with Uhim no will be know. on because of you. Third episode will be on me like you. Wow, <laughs> a lot of yous. Uh huh. Uh huh. 
That was so bad. But, I mean, do you enjoy being behind the camera? Or do you sometimes like want to jump in and dance with us? Um, I'm, I'm good behind the camera. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever like dance a little bit? to yourself while listening to the song or are you kind of like what the fuck <laughs> are these people the listening guy? to yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> or is it like mid i mean i don't like, think the music is really your style because usually like more rock music it, yeah i can't really speak to the music um huh? it, it's i have nothing against the music it's just i'm not a dancing was never in my yeah i never got into it that's fair the only, the only dancing i've ever did was for your wedding oh yeah and he did great. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, that's it. Cousin's wedding. It's your wedding and then Tony's yeah, wedding. Oh. Yeah. What As it should be. You should be dancing at your cousin's wedding. <laughs> that's a lot of, like, they see people's dance experiences just at a wedding. Yeah. Which is, you know, yeah. good. And they do well. Because I've, I've filmed white people's weddings and they, they don't do that. Caucasian. Politically correct, bro. That's not. No offense to white people. <laughs> <laughs> white <laughs> oh my god yeah we're all inclusive group here these are nails ew my nail polish not my nails we just polish white people to join rtc yeah we do need some more diversity please. oh my god no we need to get sarah dean yasha's oh, wife yasha's wife she's a dancer i mean i know she's like right now studying for the bar exam and he's a lawyer her. Let her well, almost protect lawyer, the law, but or whatever. Yeah, almost lawyer, but um, on your free time. Yeah. <laughs> hey, like my life is busy. I'm a teacher, and I do this on my free time. Hardest she's, job in the world. She's keeping hardest job in the world. She's you can't even either. fight me <laughs> on that. Like, I think there are harder jobs than being a teacher. Harder physically, yes. A construction worker, it's still harder. a I mover, mean. but mentally, s- emotionally. I think this is going to get political. <laughs> <laughs> the president, the president can. Physically can so first, class. listen. First, <laughs> first of all, the president doesn't have a brain because I mean, we. S- anyways, okay, who are you yeah, talking about? Class. Trump or Biden? Listen, Trump. Jack. No, listen, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> listen, Jack. Oh my God! I need, okay, yeah, I'll show you guys later. Oh, whoa. Definitely got off the first class. <laughs> <laughs> Told you we go out in first tangents. First class flight, man. Air Force One. Related. 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 Um, okay. Any closing remarks about our most popular video ever? I'm so glad that our most popular video ever was made by you and me. That's true. Say. That's true. At least I can say that that uh, we had a pretty good hand in this. Yes. It wasn't like someone else's video. It wasn't just Reeb. I mean. Okay, yeah, but everyone liked the girl part the most. So who gives a damn? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Did you poll people? Let me see yes, the results. Yes, I actually the survey did. Says, Let me see it, Steve Literally, Harvey. I have it right here. It says, Raheem could have done better on the chorus if he had Reba helping him, but was... You know, not up to the task, and um, you were not up to the task. You're right. No, no, no. It says Raheem was not up to the task, uh-huh. and it also says uh-huh. the girls' part was better than the boys' part. He's like, you're reading some fake news. Listen, fake news, Fox News, real news, CNN. Just, yeah. You just listed them. You just pulled <laughs> a Trump. You just listed just were a bunch of <laughs> titles and just listen. Let me see name. It all worked out. It's all good. Wow. The, I, I have trumped in the here. comments of that video. And that's one of those moments you realize it's hard to be a YouTuber because some people will oh, yeah. blast you and some people will love you. Let's read some of them. That's a good point. Let's let's look at these. Fifty eight comments. I think this one's pretty positive though. There's other videos where we've gotten ooh stuff. Uh Charose A says, Great job everyone. Loved every second of it. Excellent. Who replied to this? Is it me? No. Yeah. You guys did better job than the movies. Bravo, bravo. Oh, uh-huh. that's a good compliment. That's a big compliment because we're good. trying to, we're going against Varun and, uh, oh, Alia was in the movie? I don't remember. Yeah, I well, don't Varun was movie. dancing, so. Wonderful choreography. Awesome, guys. Well done. And then, like, 15 clapping hand emojis and then a few smiling faces in between and then some uh, AOK signs. Superb steps dance. They put the ellipses between each of their words. <laughs> Perp steps, dot, 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 dot. Dance, dot, dot, dot. Heart emoji. Dot, dot, dot. Amazing work, guys. Wow, superb performance. You can tell which one of these are um, definitely like a, a, a Desi person. Yeah. Saying them, because we don't say superb. You can say fob. 
I mean, they're not here. I'm trying to be inclusive. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to <laughs> be inclusive. Uh, Super Yaru. Super Yaro. Oh, what? I don't really get that. I love read, this dance. Read a hate comment, bro. Who cares about there's, the comments? We don't have any hate. We're loved here. At least no, for this video. I'm sure Overall, there's some hate. Positive. Varun Dhawan is my favorite actor and very beautiful song of this year. That really doesn't have anything to do with us, but okay. Amazing. Very nice. Just wow. Mind-blowing. Love the video. Best choreography. Just assume. <laughs> that. Fun toasting. <laughs> what? I didn't get that one. <laughs> Bernima Debnath. I don't know, I understand that one. Just assume that we're fantastic. I'm guessing you're saying fan toasting. Like fantastic. Or fun to sing? Fat like the fat. song is fun to sing? No, it's like F A N T U S T I N G. Fan toasting. Oh, it's fantastic. Oh. It's spelled yeah. incorrectly. Duh. Really, uh, really incorrectly. It's before autocorrect. Listen, <laughs> I went to an Indian grocery store literally, what, Saturday? And I was looking at their halal chicken and it said marinated chicken. Marinated with M E R. It's M A R. It's not M E R. Oh, that's a. Things mm, get spelled wrong. Yes, exactly. So they spell things in a little differently because maybe they don't know how to spell it correctly spell it and they're it. yeah they're spelling it like how they say it which is totally fair wed nest day this this comment's fun it says girls red langa and boys green corta thumbs up thumbs up kissy face so shruti and you because they liked it they liked yeah. it yeah well done bye wait it's the same person said fun twisting oh. <laughs> <laughs> you commented twice yeah, wow, yaro, bahut acha hai. That sounds like he's saying it's really good, right? I think. Yeah, bahut yeah. acha hai. Yeah. Avi, avi. Uh, mashallah, bahut cute dance. Wow. <laughs> this guy go. spelled awesome. O S S A M. <laughs> like possum. Awesome dance. Hey, pink dress super. Yes, I think it's Malia. Yeah. Varun Dhawan is the best is song. Okay. <laughs> it's just not me that. Good job, Yar. But it's spelled G J B. Good job. Okay. We need to abbreviate that one. Okay. If there's no hate comments and nothing to talk about, I'll, it's, it's no, just it's compliment after really compliment. It's, good. it's a good That's one. great. It's oh, great. It's all so many, so many nice comments. But the hate comments make me laugh. Oh, in your defense, the most replayed, because YouTube has this function where they show which part is the most replayed. Mm -hmm. um, but the most replayed is the girls' <gasps> intro. The girls uh, when they first start dancing. Thank you. And this comment says 139 to 141 peaks. And that's this part. Uh, do, 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 do. Which part peaked? I love this choreo. Oh, they like this one? This, this is their, this person's favorite part, apparently. This is the part I realized I messed up on the gimbal. <laughs> The joystick and the uh, uh, camera just went. Uh, yeah, you can see. It's the, funny because I like that motion, like moving side to side from here. I understand this guy's comment. This part also. Peaks okay, literally, three. quite literally, because of the choreo. Quite literally. Quite literally, quite literally not because of whatever camera thing you're talking about. Let's see if we can understand yeah, this Hindi. Uh, red lenga wali sabse acha kri. Well, I'm something about shudi. Something about being the best. I'm getting. That's good. Yeah. Mbhot means a lot. This is no bhot. What would you say? Wali sabse acha kri. Acha. I can't speak Hindi. Just going to put that out there. <laughs> None of us can. Well, oh, Ishka Wale. Is, okay, Ishka Wale love has Wale in it. What does Wale mean in Ishka Wale love? I don't know. Oh, okay. I thought people. we knew that much. Okay. Oh, my. Okay, here's your hate. Mr. Tapan Banik said, Agdom <laughs> Faltu choreography. <laughs> I think we can understand that one. <laughs> yes, that one so we that's understand. In Bangla. Cool, Bengali hater. Agdom faltu. Agdom faltu. Absolutely terrible. Absolutely yeah. terrible. For those who don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> that was the only one, though. The only hate. It's always your people. <laughs> <laughs> you can't trust your own the people. Most. <laughs> and then our family friend, Sadman, just says, hello. <laughs> Jab this is when he was in his, uh, is the greatest oh my gosh. fan. Isn't this the video that he watched that said you can't keep beat? It was. Uh, oh my gosh. Greatest fan and greatest critique. My little like cousin slash family. Fifth brother. Yeah, unofficially <laughs> fifth Zaman brother that my parents always bring over when he was young uh, to our house and we would like babysit him. 
His name is Sadman, and it's like we showed him the video, and I <laughs> directly remember he looked at it, and he looked at Raheem and was like, "You can't keep beat." And it was the best thing. It's been four years, and I still to this day remember that comment. It's like the best comment he's ever made. His, it's, it's also funny because his whole family has like a super height gene. So they're all tall. Mm. So Sadman is right now like middle school age, but he's like 6'5". Yeah, he's... It's <laughs> ridiculous. He's crazy. It's crazy. I forgot last time I saw him, he's tall. He, he's at the height where he has to duck his head to walk in the door. Oh, he's not so. that tall. Did he get into our parents, my parents' son? Just, a, just a little I see, bit. I see him bending his knees when he comes Okay, in. but I also want to say I feel like he... He's also at that age where he's like, oh my God, I'm so tall. And everyone's all the way down there. He's like almost creating a hunch and he's going to start toppling. It's kind of like what Asfan does. Asfan's like hunches over all the time when he talks to people because he's not, he's so damn that's tall. A gaming uh, posture. No. From years of gaming. No, no, he's no, hunched no, no, over. No, 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 I don't think he's. He hunches over to talk to me. Because <laughs> you're short. Yes. Has, so that's what I'm saying. He has a permanent hunch. Like. Just look at him one day. You'll be like, oh, you. When you see it, you see it. I I can't unsee it. All right. So I have to ask Salman what he thinks of our latest videos. See if his opinion has changed. Yeah. Let's see if you have beat finally. He'll be our next guest on the podcast. He won't fit on the screen. And he won't tall. talk either. His heads are cut off. <laughs> he's a he's a twelve year old brown boy. They're all quiet at that age. I'll show you. Might have something to say. I blame the parents. Video. <laughs> oh god all right um i think that was uh some good commentary on our so first too. episode or what's a good word for first progenitor episode yeah premiere premiere episode yeah Pre what are you, what are you, what are you, that just sounded weird progenitor progenitor what sorry you don't Look up some words every now and then you uh, read a book be like read the read book. Be, be like the <laughs> and pick a good word like premiere oh yeah, what was your word suggestion I was going to say in Bangla. Which is? Which is? Acta. Acta? Not uh, Proton? Yeah. Why would you say Proton? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Proton. <laughs> you can't uh, see it That now. is first versus Acta, which is one. There's a yeah. little difference. <laughs> 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 All right. While well, our dogs start <laughs> trying to eat each other. Yeah. Or eat me. I don't know. Oh, jeez. All right. Uh, that's it for today's episode. Um, if you guys haven't watched this video, go watch First Class. Let us know what you think. Go comment on it. Tell us if it's superb or, you know, if the red lenga is the best or the green gorta. Who knows? <laughs> or, or if it's safe. fantastic. Act don't, <laughs> Act don't fault the choreography, you know? <laughs> also, know. if you want to go back again. and translate some of the Hindi for us, that would be very helpful, yes, too. Yes, for our Hindi savvy fans. Yes, please. Please do. Please do. Because this tr Google Translate isn't working. <laughs> In these YouTube comments. <laughs> All right. Thanks for listening and watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey guys, Reheep here. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel, hit that bell button to get a notification whenever there's a new video. If you want to support the channel, check out the merch shop as well as the Buy Me a Coffee page and the Patreon page to get monthly benefits such as exclusive BTS content, unedited podcasts, and early access to all the videos. All the funds help grow the channel and keep it afloat. So any and all help is appreciated. All the links are in the description and I'll see you guys next time.